So check it out, St. Simons Island, Georgia, right between Jacksonville and Savannah, Georgia. A few things you can expect when you get here. Uh, great beach resorts, righteous golf, and two dudes that are doing old school barbecue. We're talking cooking only with wood on outdoor pits. This is Southern Soul. They use nothing but wood, and that's what it's all about. The oak wood they use, it's a very unique smoke. Look at that. The entire barbecue process is done by all wood. This guy has got it on. That'd be owner Harrison Sapp. There we go. Who honed his skills backyard cooking for his family, especially son Brett. Give me some of that. <laughs> there we go. Until his buddy, Griffin Buffkin, called. That's a hot fire. Griffin was like, hey, Harrison, you want to open up a restaurant? We had about 700 bucks between the two of us and a smoker and a smoker so they put it to work they look good awesome at this old 1940s gas station you see smoking right in the morning when you're going to work you can smell it pulled pork sandwich mm. i usually get the pulled pork it's their top seller it's moist and tender pulled pork plate and they're going through about a ton a week i got a plate the rub they use is unique you get salt the savory the sweet every day you make the rub every day from scratch from scratch so germinado sugar doesn't burn as easy and it makes good crust sugar. just the natural okay. sugar. Kosher salt, a little chili powder, brown black pepper, paprika, garlic. Granulated garlic, granulated onion. Granulated onion, thyme leaves, cumin. And the whole boatload of light brown sugar, which gives the super sweetness. Sweet is better. Sweet is better. And we okay. just mix it up. We really learned from you and Triple D, put it in a bag, you can mix the whole thing up. Best method in the world. Best method in the That's world. No it is. But don't do it in some chintzy little plastic bag. My buddy did that, put it all in there, shook it apart, split open, went everywhere in the kitchen, still digging sugar out of the grout line. <laughs> okay? How are we looking? It's all mixed together, nice and even. So now we're ready to start rubbing some butts. Rub some butts. Don't get to say that every day. <laughs> So we're talking about the top shoulder of the pig with the bone in. Exactly. We roll them all down, make sure we get them in all the cracks. Now, you're going to leave them be for a bit? Or ah, they spend them? the night in the walk-in. A little time to permeate. Okay. Exactly. All right, let's see these things. Load them right here. What temperature do you run this? 225 to 250. 10 to 14 hours. Now, give me the rundown here. I mean, I'm a baster. Just apple juice. Just apple juice. Just How many times are you basting these throughout the course? Probably every hour. Every hour. Are we done, boss? We are all done. Pull them off. Take a look at the bark built from that turbinado sugar. And here's the key. When that bone slides out like that, you know that you are done, and you know that you've done it real deal. Real deal. Look at the smoke ring on this, you guys. Oh, then you got this super tender pork there. We gotta try, you wanna try this? Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> Good stuff, huh? Full pork plate? It's just really fresh and juicy. Full pork with french fries. Some of the best I've ever had. Very good smoke flavor. Absolutely delicious. Brunswick stew and collard greens. Love everything they have here. I got wings down. I know it's fresh. I know it's good. I know Harrison's working his tail off. Good ribs off. With so many different smokers out there, are you running them at different times of the day? I have a butt one with the brisket, and then I have another one that runs for ribs. Slab of ribs. The ribs are the best. Just tender, can't be beat. So we pulled the silver skin on these St. Louis ribs, which is a spare rib that's been cut down to be uniform. We got our rub that we used when we did the butts. Now what's happening? Now we're gonna add more sugar to the rub. Reason being? I like it to get a, look, a good crust on it, and that, that helps. Okay. But I'm gonna sprinkle them, I won't rub them. You're just gonna sprinkle them? A lot's just too much. That's profound. That's <laughs> really, Socrates, a lot is just too, <laughs> too much. <laughs> So we're going to set them up for 20 minutes and go to the smoker. Here we go. What internal temp are you looking for? Between 165 and 175. These are going to go on four to five hours? Exactly. These are going to be money, dude. Now tell me about the double stack. I'll let the fat from this one render and go on to the fat of this one, and then I'll flip them all. Everything's better when it's cooked in its own fat. Which is kind of letting that fat render down, basting each other with the right. fat. And then every 20 minutes, hit them with apple juice. See, we're doing some basting. Yep. Then we'll come back and hit them with uh, sugar and honey. With what? More sugar and honey. Are you serious? We got a friend that does it all. It's uh, all natural Tupelo honey. Really? That much honey, dude? Oh, yeah. We do that, and then, because we don't have enough, more sugar. Oh, you guys, we forgot to tell you, Willy Wonka opened up a uh, barbecue place. <laughs> so this is going to candy up, and these things are just going to come out extra ridiculous? Exactly. All right, is it time to pull them? Time to pull them. These look righteous. Just breaking apart a little bit there. Take that's St. Louis yeah. style, baby. That's big stuff. OK, serve them in twos. Serve them in twos, sit them, so we can pull them apart when we serve them, just like that. The one over here. Why are we putting them on the grill? Just to finish them off, we're going to put some honey on them and then grill them. More honey? More honey. I don't know about this extra honey. We do like it sweet. All for you there, Mr. Guy. That's a mess of ribs, dude. Look at the bark on that. It's tender. It's totally cooked right. Let me show you the, my little test. Do I bite into it? Sometimes when people steam their ribs too much.
too much, all the meat comes right off, so it still has texture. It's a big, meaty portion. Wow, those are sweet. But once you get in this hot sauce over there, Mm. Why would I live in California? I'd weigh a lot more if I lived close to you guys. <laughs> the whole rack of ribs. Everything that you would want out of a rib. Rib plate. It's got the sweet southern flavor. Good friends, good times. I come here almost every day. Best barbecue I've ever had. Good looking ribs. They look good. This place is the real deal. You were born to barbecue, son. That's all. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. So much so that when this place burned to the ground two weeks after we visited, they turned right around, opened in another joint, and started rebuilding the original. Keep it real and stay with the wood and stay with our hearts and, and the craft of, of smoking. You guys walk the talk here, so congratulations. Thank you. Up next, 